it is I. I accidentally stole Shane's thingy. Um, but we long awaited. You waited? I waited? You waited? Let me do that. I don't know. The long awaited sketchbook tour. <laughs> um, I have. I started the sketchbook in uh, August and I finished it on the 23rd of December. And I have been ready to do the sketchbook tour since then, but I didn't have enough time on the 23rd. And I was busy Christmas Eve and Christmas. And then I was just kind of all over the place for the past, for the, yesterday, so. Now is the time. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, so I started this August 1st. Oh, and I also already have a new sketchbook because I got one for Christmas. Because I had one last page in my sketchbook for a week or two before I finished it. Because I, I wanted to make something bigger-ish. Um, I'll start with... Um, when you open it, there's like a little cover page. Which I have random trash written on that and then this little thing and then I have some papers that I doodled on in math. Usually I would just sketch in my sketchbook but um this is when I only had the last page left and I wanted to keep it open and it wasn't just like random doodles. So I started with this just like random little things I'm trying to practice like the cheap and then pose and then I tried to draw a face but it doesn't look good so just gonna roll it out. Um and then on the back I did you know, some little dirt bows. And then these were part of the same picture. But, um, and I did post, all of these have been, been on Instagram. Uh, in some way, shape, or form. Or most likely, give or take a couple. But, I'm pretty sure all of them. Um, also, this was before, the, not when I was doodling, but I just drew a lot of twos. 57. 57 twos, I think. Because there's a random 57. Anyways, um, uh, this was post practice, and I originally just drew that one, and then I'm like, oh, it kind of looks like there's like a, a bug or something there, so I just drew a butterfly, because those are easy. And some girls just saw and she's like, butterfly! Oh my god. Camera trouble. Camera trouble. Oh my gosh. I need a new popsicle. Uh, she's like butterfly people make it to a butterfly person and then they're like make one behind her and make one flying so now i have stupid butterfly people i don't even want the butterfly people no i just have stupid butterfly people i don't want butterfly people and then i ripped it in half because i uh, i made this little concept drawing it's on my instagram i'll i say more about it on my instagram um yeah I'm, I'm okayly happy with it, because originally it was just post practice, and I just drew that, and it turned out really good in my opinion, and I, and I thought that looked good, so I made it into more of an illustration, except I didn't detail it or anything. Okay, now we gotta get to the actual thing. Okay, so I colored, this is a marker paper sketchbook, by the way. Um, what brand is it? I believe it's B Creative marker paper. Yeah. Um. So, I'm covering up the name of this snake because there have been multiple people that have found this person on the internet through seeing their snake. But, um, I drew this. It was their birthday. Um, and they got Copics, and they let me use some, and I also got a sketchbook with them. Um, and so that's a, just a snake. And this is when I still did, like, little notes of what I didn't like about it. Or what I wanted to fix. Mostly just what I didn't like about it. Uh, on the back. And then this one. I feel like this was, like, artistically colored. And this one's just kind of, like... And then everything else is just kind of colored, like, kind of how it would be. So, I don't, I don't... It's okay. I feel like this part turned out good. But, like, the coloring for everything else I didn't really like. And also, like, what is that lettering? Um, okay, and then this is some girl I made up. I just kind of drew some random girl, and then I'm like, I should name her. And I just searched up 
names of galaxies, and this is the first one that I liked that made, or, yeah, that I liked at all, so that's why I named her. There's a page that I glued together, because I don't, I don't like that page, and I never finished it, and I was never going to go back and finish it, and I don't, I didn't want to put anything else on that page, because I had drawn something, and I didn't want to erase it, but I also didn't want to put it up or finish it, so I just glued together, and then I drew the girl again, but, like, in a space station it was supposed to be, but it kind of doesn't look quite right. Then, uh, I'll come back to that one, okay? It's Inktober, but I had a random blank page, and that's where I decided to put that. Now this, you can check out this here, um, is that person's OC, and I redrew it. And then, same person with the Copics I was hanging out with, and she was drawing Pearl, so I drew Amethyst. Um, oh, and then the trolls. Okay. This one was actually the last one I drew of the trolls. They're all switchied up. The first one I wanted to draw was this one, so that's why they're in first. But, um, I didn't like the pose I had, and I couldn't think of a new one. But this one I'm actually the happiest with, because I like how I did, like, stuff in her, her hands. This is Veriska, by the way. It's from Homestuck. It's a webcomic. You should check it out. I really like it. Yeah. Um, and then this one was my favorite troll, but I don't, I'm not really sure if she's my favorite troll now. And also, she didn't turn out too, too good. There's, because, um, I kind of merged her outfits. Like, I know this isn't what she looked like her sprite itself looks like, but I wanted more color in it. Because it's kind of just white with red outlines. And that's kind of boring. So I kind of combined them and I gave her red hair, even though. They all have black hair. I don't know why I did that. It would have been so much better if I just made it black. But there's just too much red. Then. This one. Which I'm still pretty happy with. Um, that's the second one I did. I did the red one first. And then this is one of the later ones I did. I'm okayly happy with this one. I don't know. This one. It's a little weird. But it worked out okay. You know. Like his head is all lopsided. Because I put more hair on one side than the other. And I wish I hadn't done that. But his outfit turned out good. I'm pretty sure. Or I think. And then I put swatches of all my colors in the corner. And then this is the second to last one I did. And I'm quite happy with this one too. Um. And also. His shoes. I, I didn't know that until I looked up our reference image. I'm like oh his shoes are different colors. One's white and one's black. And then this one is my troll, Virgo. They're all based off zodiac signs. And she's incredibly boring and I don't like her very much, but you know, whatever. My favorite character is uh Dave. And actually I have the same lunar sway and aspect as Dave, so and then this is on the later side of ones I drew, but like on the earlier of the later side. And then little Aridin, which I did use a reference straight from the webcomic for this, but that was after I already drew the pose and stuff, and then last little one, because, and also, I gave her a mermaid tail, because, in the reference image I used, because I, I, I had limited time to, you know, I just wanted to hear and get a reference image, because I was in the middle class, and I'm like, I just want to draw for fairy, so I just clicked on one, and this one, she happened to be a mermaid, I'm like, oh, is she a mermaid, I don't know, I didn't pay enough attention, I guess I missed that, but she's not. She has actual feet. It's just a skirt, and someone made her into a mermaid. But whatever. I feel like it turned out. And then this is my cousin's OC, but they didn't have anything for me to link them as. So, this is Aunt Bud. Then, for a school project, this is what this is. For a school project, we were making masks out of plaster gauze, um, which is kind of like an alternative to paper mache, but it doesn't stink up, and it's like kind of looks like the gauze band-aid thing except it's plaster and anyways we had to design a superhero well we didn't have to you could either choose an existing superhero or you can make your own most people made their own because that's funner and also if you're just taking a different superhero that's like that's way boring and dumb like no it's boring you're the boring one um so i made this one just now sima just a little, little, little. Uh, her name means space-time in Greek, I believe it was. I always say her name wrong, but uh, space-time in Greek. And uh, I, desi I designed her little outfit. This is how the mask looked. I have the mask. The mask didn't turn out, out as well, especially the gear part. 
of her eye. It just looks like a big giant bruise. It turned out okay, but I like it much better in the drawing. You know, not as good in practice. And also, her hairline doesn't look quite right. You know? Just a couple things. It's just a bit off, so it doesn't look as good. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, and also, I made her Durst time, because that was just the first thing I thought of, and I had Homestuck on the mind, and because that's what I am. And there's her horns are kind of heart-shaped, because um, I was formerly a heart aspect. If, if you don't know Homestuck, this makes no sense. The Extended Zodiac is a quiz that you can take, and you it includes... It's a lot of stuff about Homestuck. If you're confused, just... It's like a personality quiz. And I retook it back when I, I used to be a heart. Which didn't fit, really. But I feel like the space time fits. And then this is me trying to figure out color... Whatever. What I was doing. And... I did this before I drew her outfit, or colored her outfit more of. And then there's pages glued together because I don't like that. And then this had, like, a little person sketch. Um, it has a bunch of names on it, so I don't want to put that. And then there's Hangman. But someone is just like, oh, you draw. Because I had my sketchbook, like, on the floor. And then I'm like, yeah, yeah. And, she, and then they're like, what do you struggle with most? I'm like, faces, I guess. And then they just pulled, uh, and they're just like, here, and, the, and, and they held my hand out, I'm like, okay, and I handed them my sketchbook, and turn, and they're like, uh, I need a blank page, and then I turned to this page, which just had a little person on it, you know, random, quick sketch, and that didn't really have any concept behind it, and I wasn't gonna finish it, and then they just drew a face, and I'm like, boy, and then I didn't even like it that much, and they're like, that's how you draw faces, and I'm like, go away why'd you just and it was in pen too so i couldn't just erase it like it was in micron pen and i'm like boy why'd you do that so now there's big ugly block and then i drew chibi versions of a bunch of people i know but i can't show them and then there's oh yeah also i can show this one this is mr girl at my school and she has cool hair so like i drew her because she just has like one little blonde streak and the rest of her hair is like really really dark brown or black i can't tell it's it's basically black, or it could be really, really dark brown, and then that's monstrous douche. Um, but yeah, trash page. And then, Krona from Soul Eater. Uh, I feel like this one turned out, I don't like her face, but I like how I did her outfit. Her feet look a little weird, but, you know. And this one is not a shipping thing, I swear. Just, no. I hate, not this ship. I, no. No. Tavros is a bean. He's a is better. Anyways, um, me and Kat did a challenge against each other where we got two trolls and we combined them into one. And I couldn't pass this up because Tavros has buzzed on both sides and Vriska has, like, long hair. And I'm like, I can just give him my haircut. Boom. Easy. And also, Tavros's horns are really fun to draw. So, I did this. And I feel like it looks more Vriska than Tavros. But whatever. And then I did swatches of all of them on the back. This one I posted. I posted all of them on Instagram. I did a time lapse of me coloring and drawing this one. It's in a bunch of pieces though, because I didn't realize I could just download a freaking app and combine them into one video instead of just being a noob and being like, here's like five different and time lapses, and one of them is like four seconds long. Oh, that means my video is done editing it's like merging together speaking of which timing um but yeah you can check that out i feel like it didn't turn out very well but i don't do landscapes very much and i also don't color a lot so and then this is the beginning of inktober now this one i was really happy with i did a lot of soul eater during this time because uh me and my friend were watching it together and i just had it on the mind quite a bit so this is blair the cat from soul eater and then I drew a, a cute little cat, and it looked good, and then I colored it, and then it's all dark, and then I fixed it a bit, and then I'm like, okay, I'll put the words on, and then I'm like, what if I do bubbles, and then I drew the bubbles, and I'm like, oh, wait, the bubble around them I can't color in, because then you can't see it, so I did line, and I destroyed it. It, it. it was good, and then it was bad. Oh, that was actually day three, because I put 
day three there for some reason. I don't know. This is day two. I didn't have very much time, so I just drew a freaking pumpkin. Um, bat moon, because I was lazy. Day five, this is my drag queen fish. That's a thing I randomly draw sometimes when I'm bored and I don't feel like drawing. So, October. Then witch hat, black paper moon, soul leader again. Uh, Jack the Skeleton, soul uh, in weapon form, soul leader. Um, I'm trying to speed through this because Inktober. Um, this is Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I loved Nightmare Before Christmas as a child. And I feel like this one really turned out. It's Coraline. Uh, I grew up on Timbering Claymations. And also, you'll notice, uh, this is a thing I did because I started watching Marble Hornet, which is an old series about creepypasta that ended long ago. Or, well, it got cut off. But um, I put X's in the zeros because I was watching that at the time. And I'm like, maybe people will find it. Um, and then... I'm just like, hey, whale puns. And then this one, I don't really like this one. This one is reminiscent of my old art, and I just cringe at that. Um, you can check that out in the old sketchbook tour, but don't. Please don't. Okay. Anyways, this one, I'm pretty, I'm okay with Italy, happy with this. You know, okay. The bunny was kind of rushed. Um, the balloon. So, okay. Now, this one. Oh, I skipped over day 15. I have to go back and show you guys day 15. Because that one was all separated from the rest for no apparent reason. Let's just... Ah, here it is. Okay, day 15, I just did a spider fish. I don't think I really followed the prompt, but spider fish. Um, anyways, this is my favorite... Inktober drawing in the whole thing. I really love how it turned out. With the hard black shape and it has the darker outline and how the little light came out. I this is my best Inktober drawing. I was I'm so happy with it. Even though it's just a simple little bottle. Then a little candle. And this is supposed to be the thing from Gravity Falls. And I think it looks good and all, but like I wish I put more detail in it. And I could have gone back and done more detail, but eh. Drain, everyone did a vampire, but and I didn't really have any other ideas, so I just did a vampire too. And then I had no idea for expensive, so I just put a diamond, you know, basic. Muddy, I put little rain boots. But I didn't, you know, I didn't feel like coloring. I like doing sort of monochrome. Then chop, I did a butcher's knife, because that's a... And then prickly, I did a cactus, like everyone else. And then stretch, I just kind of drew the spider person, because I didn't really feel inspired by the word and then i'm like what if i just draw their arms stretching around the spider legs like they're all stretched out and they became a spider monster and so it fit the prompt so spider person and i'm also fairly happy with that spider person now we we're coming up to my second favorite but not yet thunder i didn't really know what to do gift unoriginal but eh. and then i did a redraw of the original okay i did a redraw of the day three one that was a disaster and i ruined it it's not as bad because the prompt was double. I'm like, oh, I can. This is my chance to redo that one and redeem myself just a little bit. And then this is my s second favorite one, close second. It's Jolt, and I did like this weird monster person, and I like how their like skinny, long arms turned out. And I, I'm 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 quite happy with that one. And then um, this is not Inktober. I stuck it in because I just drew a little dirt version of me in my costume. I was Yuri from DDLC. And then this is Inktober day 31. Because I got some light out from the dollar store. So I blacked out a big space with Sharpie. And I drew this little thingy. Which it turned out okay. The hands aren't very good. But you know. And it says in the back. Inktober day 31. Oh, but I drew it on the 30th. <laughs> oh yeah, because I knew I wouldn't have time on actual Halloween. Okay, and then this I did a little drawing of that person. And with this dress that they have, it, I don't like how I did the dress, but whatever. Then I drew, okay, so this is, I have my two dogs, and this is the big one as a big marshmallow, because I can't remember who it was, but they called her, like, Bellow Mellow or something. You know, let's see. I don't know. And then this is my tater baby, Wiley, and, crap, okay, wait. sorry about that, there was a little bit of a thing there. I had to stop and do that. Anyways, um, this is of my little tater baby, Wiley. I call him my tater baby. And I tried to give him a little more texture, but you can't really see it. He's supposed to be a tater dot, and she's supposed to be a marshmallow. And it's pretty cute, but I never, like, lined it or anything, because it's not 
a very refined drawing. And yeah, I didn't really. So that one wasn't on Instagram. And then I'm going to save this for last because this is my favorite drawing in the whole sketchbook. Like the jar was second or so. I was re I really like that Veruska too. Probably like this one and then the Veruska and then the jar. Just because that, or that bottle more of. Because I really liked how that bottle turned out. Um, and then I also drew Nepeda. I have drawn Nepeda and Carcat both before. The other two trolls that I hadn't drawn. But I gave this in a, a way to a friend for her birthday because she really likes cats. And she read Homestuck and Nepeda's cat. And also she has the same, she's a Leo just like Nepeda. So yeah. And then uh, I'll redraw Carcat sometime. I gave that away to a different friend. Um, then this is, okay, me and my friend were like, okay, so... You know how people are like spirit animals it's like what if we had and then it's like okay yeah and then like your spirit food and then i'm like well i eat ice cream all day every day even in winter like ice cream um so i'm like what if i made an ice cream wolf so this is me figuring out how to draw a wolf um i gave it deer feet so i gave it antlers which would um my cousin was flipping through my sketchbook and he's also like that's really cool that you put antlers on it. I'm like, I just put it on because it had your feet. But I'm like, but now he's like, oh, but he's like, well, it's a cool concept and stuff. And maybe I'll draw that someday. A wolf with deer antlers and stuff. Then me trying again. A little more dog feet, but like, still not very good. And then I was, I am quite happy with this one. And this is the most chibi thing I've ever drawn. And someday I want to take a picture of it and like, because it's only half of it, because it's me correcting mistakes and spotting differences in faces. And I want to take that, and then I want to just get that and copy it and flip it so I have a full little pepper face. Because look how freaking chibi it is. Then, hunchback accidentally. Yeah. Yeah. And then me. And I wanted to do a little bowl of ice cream puppies, so I started drawing little curled up puppies. And a little more heads, and that one is staring into my soul. Um, so yeah. And then, uh, I drew a little more dogs. I did a little thumbnail stitch there, a little head trying to show emotion. Um, a little doger there, and more bean pups. Just in a bowl. You can't really see the bowl, it's very light. Which is uncommon in my sketchbook. And then I did the final drawing. Which, and I made ice ice cone uh what are they called it's like it's like tights it's like mites i don't know which one you know little whatever's whatever they're called don't come at me okay and then little wolf and i i'm i'm pretty happy with how the wolf come out it came out i'm pretty unhappy with how the pups came out but overall pretty good and then this, uh, I drew a ton of thumbnail sketches for, for the last page, um, to do, and, you know, thank you for 50, because it was a 50, um, follower celebration on my Instagram. I'm, I talk about my Instagram a lot in the sketchbook tours, because that's where I do my drawing. You know, I had a bunch of little ideas, um, this one I'll probably do sometime in the future, but I didn't like it enough for a final idea, and I, it wasn't refined enough, and I just really liked how this thumbnail turned out, so I thought I'd do it. Uh, that, my hunter ran, or, <laughs> crap. It, there's more people in that, or my friend, um, I was gonna do a thumbnail sketch, and then he's like, wait, and then he made it into this weird monstrosity, um, I know what that is. It kind of looks like the amazing, but it's supposed to be some kid from my school, but I accidentally gave them, like, a goatee thing, so I'm like, eh, ah, kill it. But, you know, now that you know which one I ended up going with, this is how the final thing turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. Not, like, the most happy. I feel like it could have turned out better, but it definitely could have turned out worse, and I'm pretty happy with it. And then, um, you know, the end. And then I put the little date thing and then uh yeah you know and then random swatches me trying to figure out colorways and stuff. random stuff but this is the date thing and then okay now we're gonna and there's random writing on the back cover now this is my favorite drawing in the whole entire sketchbook by far and with my last sketchbook as you can see i tore out a few drawings the best ones um there is one that while the one top one's not from my sketchbook, it's from my cousin's sketchbook, and then there's another one 
on the wall by my calendar. Uh, that one, right there. Um, and this is gonna be one of the ones I tear out. And I might tear out all the trolls and put them in line on my wall somewhere, because that'd be cool. And I can put them by my marquee merch, which is, it's out of frame, but it's like on that little slanty thing where Nepeda is, but on the other side of it. But this one I'm definitely going to tear out and put on my wall. I'm so happy with it. So I put, and I, I need to use silhouettes more. Like this big block of black looks really good. And it looks flatter on camera, thankfully. Um, so here. There's this little person, you know, pushing. And then I did the same thing with the face shading thing on this one. And, like, you can turn it upside down and it is cool. There's a little more white space. But, you know, I'm so happy with it, though. You know, this little and the monster thing. And I like the, like, drips and the reverse drips. Because it's, like, dripping into their world. And it's, like, a two-world thing. I'm... I love this drawing. I love the heck out of this drawing. Like, even with my old drawings, it's like, I've now realized flaws about them. But, um, like, that one, pretty good person, but the clothes are all jacked up. That one is just st very stylistic. But, uh, you know, just very stylistic and is very pertaining to my old style. And the Wiley one, you know, that one turned out pretty good. But this is, like, humans, and that's what I draw all the time. And it's like, I'm... I love the heck out of this drawing. Like, I, I like those old drawings. Like, uh, they're the only drawings I really liked out of my old sketchbook. And even the other one I didn't like at first, but my friend's like, no, nah, that's going on. Like, you know what? It is. But I love the heck out of this drawing. I love this drawing so much. I will treasure them. this. I love this drawing. I cannot express this enough. I love that drawing. <laughs> but anyways, that's the end of my sketchbook tour. I really haven't drawn anything. I'll show you what I have so far. This dog needs to deformed too because I didn't have a reference image. I was just kind of guessing. But this is what my next sketchbook will be. It's a mixed media one. So, and I got some gouache. So maybe I'll use some gouache in here. Um, mm, let me fan myself. But yeah, I'm super excited to fill this out. And yeah. And it's a little different. I kind of, I kind of grew accustomed to my black sketchbook, and it kind of feels like soft on that side. And this one has a more hard textured cover, but I'll get used to it. Cause I'm used to my flimsy one that I got from the dollar store, and I loved the sketchbook. But it's a good sketchbook. I would definitely recommend this. Even though I don't use markers, I got a marker paper, paper one. And it was nice and smooth paper. Um, so, I would definitely recommend this. The Be Creative marker paper sketchbook. Looks like this. It has a little strippy, you know, a little wraparound tag thing. It has like a couple inches six and it has like yellow on it. Be Creative. Would recommend. Um, and it handled markers pretty good. Uh, you couldn't really draw on the other side, but like... You could definitely draw on this side, actually. It's just, it bleeds through a little, so you can do another marker illustration, but you could definitely sketch over it. You know, especially if you did the thing where you, like, block out the back, like, if you did something like this, where you block out the back and then white, and put white out on top of it, then you could, you could draw whatever on there. Um, I, this one does show through a little, too, though. Just a little, though. Um, but... Yeah, sorry, there's someone live streaming and it gave me a notification. Yeah, but I'm gonna miss this sketchbook, but I'll, I'll have it on my shelf, you know. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, actually. Um, this has been long awaited, at least by me, because um, I love doing these sketchbook tours, but I have to wait until I finish a sketchbook. And this was only my second sketchbook. My first one was from the dollar store, I only had like. 50 pages. Well, maybe I had 100. One sec, I have it right here. Let's check. Yeah, it only had like 50 pages, and I ripped a couple out too, so, you know. But, um, this was, and this is only a second, and I'm super happy with it. And overall, I just remember the sketchbook 
better than the last one because one the last one was really cringy and two that one drawing i love that drawing so much i cannot express this also if you like this background for my video i think it looks good um because i have <laughs> let's fall over um i have a lot of stuff on my dresser randomly and i have a lot of drawings on that wall and just stuff on that wall i put a lot of stuff on that wall that's the one wall in my okay there's two walls in my room that are pretty much all the way filled up it's that wall, I mean, there's a blank space, like, there, and, like, there. Like, a little up there, but, eh. Like, it's very little blank space. I could fit three more drawings there, and I'll probably put the drawing that I love so much there. Um, you know, in that blank space. But, and then, this other wall, which the only blank spaces are, like, above that calendar. That's not enough blank space to put anything there, and then above those papers. Like, eh, I could put something there, but it's kind of too si tiny space. You know, there's two walls that are totally filled up, and then there's window wall where it's like some stuff. And that one's really weird to fill up. And then there's this one, which is pretty much filled up. Because it's like that, where I'm I'm leaving room for more FNAF. I, I'll finish that uh, eventually. Oh, crap, I forgot it doesn't flippy. And then watercolor and pokemon stuff and then my shelves so anyways i didn't include i didn't need to include the part where i talked about literally everything on my walls oh, crap why did i pick it up now i gotta reset up the sitting okay um also i can do a room tour in the future or something i did that once but it ended up being like 40 minutes long because i rant a lot and go into too much detail and i just need to like scan over things and people can ask questions in the comments if they want to know more instead of me ranting in the video in case like one person kind of wanted to know like where i got that one stuffed animal you know um but anyways thanks for watching this video and the moral of this video you should follow me on instagram because you can see all these drawings earlier but you can still watch these videos because there's some drawings that I just don't put up on Instagram because one, I don't really like them or there's others that I just put on the stories so you can only see them for, you know, when I post them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's... But yeah, you should definitely check out my Instagram. Uh, I... I'm pretty active on there. That's one of the best ways to contact me other than Twitter. But Twitter and Instagram are kind of equal when contacting me. Um, if you're trying to contact me ever, you know, because uh, YouTube comments sometimes get lost. You can also, speaking of which, you can also check me out on Twitter. Um, I'm at, it's at Blood Musical. Um, hopefully I can change that. I have, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could change your app before, but I don't know. If not, I'll be blood musical on twitter i guess just the bane of my existence but whatever you know good enough um and oh. hi wiley thanks for opening my door I'm really, I'm really my outro. that's my tater baby by the way um and check out my main channel i do uh music stuff on there and yeah and i will be posting oh uh my progress in this sketchbook on instagram also this one only has 40 sheets but i might i'll you know this one has 40 sheets this one had 50 sheets i believe i'm not entirely sure because i have ripped out a couple um when using that and then that one had 50 so this one's a touch shorter but not enough to make a difference, I don't think. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll check out more. And you can also check out my other sketchbook tour, which I did of my old one, where it's really cringy. <laughs> uh, probably the video in general. Oh my gosh, both dogs. Okay. There's my marshmallow. Um really cringy probably both the video and the art but definitely the art in it and it's oof it's oof it's oof it's a whole lot of oof but yeah um thanks for watching this and i hope you check out those three links below
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.